do about lighting. This is a different video than what I normally do due to the fact that it's not about music or video games. This is a real life video and an announcement video. Basically, I'm going to show you all the weapons I've made, that, whether it be real, fake, toy, or prop. And then I'll make an announcement about some new changes, new videos. First off, the weapons. I'll start with the simplest and probably stupidest weapon I have, which would be this. A star-bladed maul. With an actual brass flower-designed star blade a nice pommel. Very useful, very deadly, but also nimble in the hand. Another good look at it. Kind of looks like a table leg now that I think about it. Next up is probably my oldest. Which is a short sword, obviously. With a good hooked end for ripping, tearing, and grabbing a hold of stuff. It's actually made of steel. And has pink diamonds not sure if you can see that, but it has actual pink diamonds. Three large pink diamonds. Very rare. But I got them for free. And no, I didn't steal them. I'm not showing you too much of this one because even though it's made of iron, it's kind of broken and it could fall apart at any moment. This was what I did trying to see how long it would take to just make a simple thing. I'm not sure if it's a machete or a sword, but it's simply held together with zip ties made of an aluminum blade with a tin piece of plate that's been wrapped around as a handle with a wire, an audio wire mount. Well, not mount, but grip. It's got a nice hole here, so you can hook it on your finger. That way you don't let go of it by accident, since there's no actual pommel. And despite what it's made out of, it's very good. Probably shouldn't be hitting my hand with it. Oh, one second. I gotta go check something. I'm making chocolate in my kitchen.
chocolate's ready. I'm gonna go get a piece actually. Mmm, chocolate. All right. Mmm, mmm. Next one. I think this type of sword is called an Injato. I made all these swords, by the way, by hand. Folded the steel and everything. Looks like I've got something nesting on it. Looks like a piece of cotton. Next isn't actually a sword. It's a prop battle axe. Reason I say it's a prop is because it's made of soda cans. And somebody sat on it and it's already coming apart. But yeah, my nephew got a sword, or well, a axe up the ass because he sat on the damn thing while it was on my couch. Cracked the soda cans apart. But it's still pretty hefty. It would hurt. It's not a prop to take to cons. This would hurt. It's got some weight to it. Next up, you might recognize pretty heavy. It's a shorter version of the Great Knife, which is technically still a sword, but it's called Great Knife from Resident Evil. Or, no, fuck, not Resident Evil. That was a game I just bought. Um, Silent Hill. This is Triangle Head's weapon. Pyramid Head, whatever. I haven't played the game in years and my memory is failing me. But yeah. And it's extremely heavy due to the fact that it's made of rusted iron. <clears throat> of course, since it's so heavy, I decided to leave it blunt completely. That way, if I do drop it, it doesn't cut off my foot. And I just used a regular old sock and some rope as the handle. Give it that sort of Silent Hill look. Because everything seems to be made out of, well, random crap. Whew, so much rust everywhere. And next up, next up is my favorite out of all the swords. I call it the black rose hand folded aluminum actually this one's aluminum but it's been folded 13 times And yes, this is an emerald. Don't ask me why. I just thought it looked cool. You can see where I kind of messed up folding the end here. I didn't fold it properly and now it's all out of shape. One end, one slope is 
shaft longer than the other. It's got a bigger incline, I guess. And the fold on the back didn't go too well. That's why there's a seam where I had to sort of scrunch up the metal. And this is actually a CD, of like a CD or DVD, don't remember which one, that I cut in half and used epoxy to put it on each side and wrap that in tin foil and packing tape. And now it's as solid as stone. It's not going anywhere. Or wait, there's more. For $9.99, you can get the Go Fuck Yourself Award. No, but really there is more. Much, much more. Like this. It's my old whip I made out of tree bark. I'm not going to actually try and whip it, though, because I made this several years ago, and since it's only tree bark, it's sort of coming apart. If I try to whip it, it'll probably snap. Who cares about that, though? Next up, I bet you're all familiar with, is the hidden blade. Just push this button here. Oh, you didn't see that on camera. Gosh. Well, it works, I promise. It just gets jammed a lot since it's made of cardboard, rubber bands, and hot glue. Hot glue. But yeah, it kind of works. Next up is a nice knife I made. It's a proof of concept knife, so it's not actually sharp. What the hell was that? Oh, anyways, this was a styrofoam cup that I molded around it and heated up and shaped. But let's get it out of the sheath, which is made of cardboard and tarp, and show you the blade itself, which is actually tin foil that's been folded, flattened, and epoxied, and then layered, folded, flattened, epoxied again. And now it's hard as a rock. I could actually hurt someone with it if I stabbed them. But it's not sharp. You, I could sharpen it, but it's just a proof of concept so it wouldn't hold an edge because of what it's made out of. Then I have my favorite knife in my whole collection. And yes, compared to this it is relatively tiny especially compared to the great knife over there but it's made of ivory and silver and has an, a stainless blade minutes already. Okay. Well, I guess I, I don't have time to gather up all the other stuff because I'm not going to do a two-part video. So I'll just pick everything up. Hey, have a look at my better half. <laughs> Modified Nerf strong arm turned into a Spaz 12 and it still functions properly. Suit of armor holding Excalibur. Don't worry, this most this part of the armor completely stand in. Not actually this part's not actually gonna be there the whole time. It's going to end up looking more like these. 
this thing. Oh no! I dropped my corpse head. <clears throat> yeah, that's not disturbing at all. Paper mache for the win. Ah, fuck it. Shield. Staff. Chocolate. I don't know why I showed you the chocolate. There's no good reason for that. But that concludes the show off part. Now for the announcement. If this video gets enough likes, I will show how I make these weapons and toys and props and things like that. And I forgot, but I did make a small bowie knife. And there's plenty of other things. Such as this. Chopping knife. That I use for chocolate because it's just perfect to cut chocolate with. But yeah, if this video gets a reasonable amount of likes, I'm going to show how I make these things. I'm going to put out tutorials. I'm going to put out let's builds. I'm going to put out all sorts of stuff about these weapons and others that you submit. Or, you know, you could be total D-bags. And you could, you know, do random crap and not care. Why do I even have this? But anyways, if this video gets a reasonable amount of likes and people aren't trolls and not watching, I will put out how to make this stuff. Just ask me what and I'll do it. That concludes everything. Except for, you know, a couple of other things. Yeah, I've got enough time. It's a 20 minute video already, but. Saber claws. Wait. There we go. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Goodbye.